trouble, I can see it in his eyes. If you don't give him shelter, he'll have no place to hide. Yeah, the devil deals in dying. The devil is a joker and he don't want you alive. Maybe only a superstition out of the old days, to you. But here in Appalachia, <clears throat> here in the hills of Appalachia, the devil, or the stranger, old Nick, or the Corps of Army Engineers, or Satan, or Beelzebub, or His Majesty, or what you will, is as familiar and more fearsome than old age or smog. He turns true lovers against one another. He dams up streams and fills their courses with silt. And he destroys God's green earth with great eight-lane superhighway. The devil is just as real here as a, no, as I am. And John, who conquered fears he never knew he had, and found the devil, and defied him to his face, became a living legend in your time. And this is how it all began before John knew which way his road led. You made up a new song. Is it a loved one? Old King Nebuchadnezzar had such awful dreams. Trouble was in his spirit, Lord, impossible. Paul, tend my hide if he's up when I get home. What may I tell him? Hey, impossible to 
sleep. So he ordered all magicians and his Chaldeans and such. He said, tell me what my dreams mean. Hey, I'm troubled much too much. And all I can remember is a how scared I was. Yeah, you got good reason to be scared. Tough one, your Lord Majesty. If you can't remember, how the hell can we throw him in the chain gang? Cried the Lord of Chaldee. Throw him in the chain gang for eternity. Singing on a public road after what happened here last night. Nosy on the hill must have their spy glasses out last night. There's a little Jew boy around here by the name of Dan. He said, hang on, your majesty. They can't, but I think I can. But all the Chaldean said, oh, king, he's just a fake. Anything that we can't do. No kid can undertake But a Daniel lift his arms And to his God he said He dreamt you saw Out of you Just standing by your bed With a head of gold And shoulders brass And an eye in its most private part Says you're the king of earth, but he don't know you high. You kings and presidents beneath his royal sky. Gold is what you think you are, for us more like it by far. The iron already rusts. I'll see you through what you've got to face. What the hell's come over this hill? I mean, her pa might come at me with a shotgun, but he ain't gonna spoil the height of what might be his son-in-law. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Didn't your grandpappy John tell you about last night? Well, I, I didn't sleep at home last night. Last night, by this same still of mine, your grandpappy John swore to sing the defy. To old Nick. By his own name! <laughs> At Moon High, right here in front of my doorstep! <laughs> John. Word finally reached you, did it? Grandpappy, the first thing in my life was you. You you nursed me sick and made me well. You taught me to stand on my own two feet no matter who nor what. And you raised me up like your own get. Well, now you're whose gonna... get do you think you are, boy? Happy? 
You mean... Well, sure. Oh, Grandpa John. Gave that down? No. I hope you don't hold it like me so. Oh, I wouldn't have been ashamed of you. You've brightened up this cabin for nigh on to a year. They don't linger long in one place. Hmm. Grandpappy, who don't linger long in one place? Grandpappy. I never knew my ma. And I don't want to lose you. Boy. Do you think I'd enter into a thing like this without the fullest protection? Against him? As clever as you be, you can't think of the one thing his majesty detests most and fears in the hands of man. The good book? <laughs> no. His name appears in that frequenter than yours or mine. Use your head like I learned you. Keep a key to it. Think. He cannot unlock that door by day or night. A bullet will pierce his evil heart. A, a knife will kill his gray Grimalkin's dead and turn him into cats of purest white. True silver's in your mind. If a man could come by it. Look at these new strings. They ain't true silver. Five bright, shiny, new four-bit pieces, but poor Mr. Kennedy's face shining like a new day, melted and drawed into strings to make music. The stranger can't stand up again. Moon high tonight. I stand at your right hand. I'm proud to have you for my guest. <laughs> Queen to his majesty, don't smile on him. Save us. I brought my pure white keep away this time. Mercy, mercy, he's gonna do us all. He's going to do us all. He will fall on others' heads. Spare my bar and spare my bed. Daddy Chase, can't you do something? He's going to do us all. Superstition, the bane of humankind. Well, I guess that moon ain't gonna get higher. Grandpappy, you ain't for sure going through with this. With overcoming evil on God's good earth? All right, then. You wait one tad burn minute. Your Majesty, are you listening? I'm giving you the heart and liver of a new caught fish. A fine three pound speckled trout. Not to harm that innocent, expensive still of mine. All right, you darn fool. Now do your worst. John, you come back here with me. Oh, sir, I stand at my grandpappy John's right hand. Fools run in families, they say. Won't no friend stand with us? I'll stand with you, John. Ain't it enough that you lay with him all night without bringing shame on your paw? Well, looks like it's you and me. <coughs> in one intelligent hound dog. <coughs> yeah, that's a good boy, Honor Hound. You reckon he knows about your true silver strings? Well, animals has got a mystery way. Instinct, they calls it. Well, anyway, there's more sense in them four legs than I've seen a lot of others having, too. Will you accept my company? Come now. Wait for me, Asmodeus. Wait for me. Mr. Marduk, is it? A dowser, you know. 
Hadn't I the best well on this hill, I'd hire you a side of bacon and a whole ham to douse me a new one. Well, another time, brother. Another time. John, it's so good to meet you. The same as in the beginning. Likewise, Mr. Marduk. Likewise as ever since glad begun. Well, gentlemen, hound dog, it's time. You all can crawl over later and apologize. It's been raining in the mountains and the river's on the rise And we cannot hardly reach the other side And the devil, he's in trouble, I can see it in his eyes You don't give him shelter, he'll have no place to hide The devil deals in dying and he travels in a hearse He treats you like a dog now, he likes to treat you worse he don't have the answers, and if he did, he'd lie. The devil is a joker, and he don't want you alive. It's been raining in the mountains, and the river's on the rise. We cannot hardly reach the other side. And the devil, he's in trouble, I can see it in his eyes. You don't give him shelter, and have no place to hide. Yes, the devil is a joker. By God, I must deep I thought those strings were true silver. <laughs> they were. He, he scrimped up five shiny new four bits, was, melted them down to make them. How perfidious are the governments of men. They took the silver out of coinage long ago. <laughs> he never told Grandpappy John. He believed them to be honor men. I learned which side the government was on when I started making whiskey. Hand and hoof, the pair of them. Hand. Hand or hoof. I'm taking up where he left off. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We'll tell you where to dig. Something wrong? Well, no offense, Mr. Marduk, but after what happened to my grandpappy John, I gotta be awful sure of my course. As sure as mortal man can be. Whoop. Well. My, my family's been living around here ever since General Washington's big war, and I reckon if there was any silver, true or false, that they'd have dug it up by now. Well, no pay if I don't find. And a meal of salt pork if you do. You haven't got much to lose. 
don't don't hardly seem like enough wage to make good work worthwhile. Call me a bad businessman. I feel a faith in you, Mr. Marduk. coins like those before. Those are Spanish pieces of eight. Peru coinage. They'll be about 419 years old this spring. Give or take a year. You suppose they're true silver? Well, the Spaniards stole the silver from the Indians. No reason for them to debase the coinage. I'd sure admire to have that will of fork of yours. I'd be rich in no time. Yeah. Like as not, there's more of them around here. How many? Oh, just maybe two. How far down? Oh, uh, far, far down. As deep as deep. Uh, that'd take a bit of time. Yeah. A man has to give up some life if he wants to be rich. I got enough. And plenty for my silver strings. I best get on with Define while I still got the urge. Ah, uh, you haven't uh, forgotten my salt pork dinner, I may hope. Oh, no, the table's laid. Come on in. No, well, no, 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 no. I I'll just eat it out here. You're sure welcome to our roof. Well, it's not that I, I don't appreciate the gesture, but... Okay, I'll fetch it. Yeah. He's got his share of human greed and doubt, but still his mother's son, I think. Party. Yeah, share with me, John. Well, your your wage was small enough to start. Well, if you feed the spirit, the body will not want. Well, I never noticed that being true up to now, but thanks. Well, we've shared salt, John. We was already friends, least ways from my side. From the beginning, John. From the beginning. Well, I guess I've got to be off. Ain't, ain't you gonna wait and listen to my true silver string? In due time, John. In due time. <laughs> Look at them. Look 
cooking pots, the steel shoe plow. This one here's our store-bought bed. Them's true silver. If the old man didn't lie. Not even if him and me hadn't shared salt together. He might be mistaken, though. Them Spaniards might debase without him ever knowing it. What are you going to do? I'm going to forge these into true silver strings. And if they're false, like poor deceived Grandpappy John's? Find the devil. Then I face him down. Then I'll know the truth of my silver. I waited out some several nights, Reverend. There ain't no evil presence around here. There's Zebulon Yandro. Think, John, Zebulon. That's one of the secret names. Ladies give their newborn bad names out of foolish disbelief and ignorance. I seen it happen back where I come from. John, have you seen those tombstones out in our graveyard? Them big new ugly ones? Now folks have to buy them from Yandro because their kin lying rested and ungraved if they don't. And if they go hungry paying for them, it's all the same to him, because money and gold are living things to him, John. Men are for buying and selling and burying. And if he ain't the devil, he's one of his chief imps. I don't argue with you, Reverend, but I can't defy if he won't come. He'll come, John. I promise you that. He'll come tonight. Ain't no yandro can hold back from spoiling people's pleasure. Okay. I'll stay the night. How about a little on the road? Pull down to the bottom of my hand. Swap my wife for a cow and a cane. And the old cow died in the cane. Just pull the cane. You let it come down.
it's real pretty song. You make it up? No, huh? Well, who did? <laughs> Don't tell me the parson. I got it from my pappy John, and he from his pappy. And beyond that, I ain't once heard of it being sung. Well, it must have been sung by my grandpappy. About your grandpappy and a witch girl. And witch girl? Not born so, but become one by studying, by reading such secret dark books as The Long Lost Friend and The Egyptian. Yeah, yeah. Those books, you know, can't be burned, can't be lost, can't be given away. Got to be buried like a dead human being. So some folks say, Andro. Oh, now, don't you look at me, Parson. Come on. You ask these people here, your parishioners. You go ask them what, what's going on out there in the graveyard and dead at night. What they're doing there around the mother's tomb. Hmm? Polly Wilst, as was the witch girl's name, was pretty and dark-haired. Yet none dared quarter save only Yoris Yandro. He sweared he loved Polly Wilst. And he'd live a year within her arms? Well, you know, that's a common bribe in all witches' tales. You're going to live a year in her arms. <laughs> Go on. But there was no love in your grandpappy's heart for Polly. He wanted only to entice her to bring up the gold that was in the mountain named for your kinfolk. Gold. Where in these mountains? Polly Wilts could find it with her witching, and she did. And your grandpa took the prophets and lit out in the dark of night. Well, that sounded like grandpappy, all right. <laughs> Only a puny taste of it. After he were gone, she witched up gold to drown the greed of greed itself, and wove a spell on it to bring him back 75 long years to the hour to make him live out his promise. Yeah. Well, he's going to have to move his headstone to get up there, I'll tell you. You know, I interred him myself. He's six feet under. Hey, um, uh, come here. I want to talk to you for a second. You, uh, you been to this Yandro's high hill? Though not to climb it to the top. But I did speak with one who had and seen the gold with his own two eyes. On my grandpappy's land. Now, you think you can find that hill again? I don't forget where I've been. All right, now look, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I pay for what I buy. You show me where that hill is, and I'll, I'll give you some of that gold. What do you say? I don't think I care to share that gold. Well, yeah, you've changed your mind when you see it. Now, come on, what do you say? Give you a third part of my gold to show me where it is. I ain't yours, Yandro's kin. But I'll get you to Polly's Mountain. Alive. All right. Let's go. Go wait for us. Yeah, it'll wait. Uh. All right, let's go. What the hell's that? Hmm? Honor Hound's been hearing them some time now. Hearing what? Animals, the 
Bamets and the behinders and... Oh, for God's sake. Kid, now what the hell's the matter with you? Goddamn mountain superstition. Don't you know that? Bamets bound and talk for behemoth. You know what a behemoth is? Yeah, it's a big hairy elephant. <laughs> big hairy elephant. Been dead and gone a million years. You know what a behinder is, kid? Ain't nobody ever looked on one live to tell. Well, that's because nobody ever seen one. Now, come on, kid. <laughs> near the top? It's right up there. Well, it looks like Groping Field. We don't know what danger she got hit up there for us. The guy that counts the dangers don't get to count the gold. Get him there alive. Honor Hound. Honor Hound. I. I. Come, come on, boy. Come on. Come on. I told it. Come on. I told him I'd get him there, Honor Hound. Come on. Come on, Hound. <laughs> Mr. Yonder! Nothing holding you, Mr. Yondro. Oh, shit. Oh, get Some. I tell you, some. Some had a hold of me. I don't know what it was. I couldn't move. Come on. Let's get out of here. When's this stuff going to lift? At midnight to fulfill my spell. What's that? You've come back to me. You, you ain't Polly Wilts. As I was when you deserted me, Joris Yandro. I didn't. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't betray you. That was my grandpappy. Was Joris? What? Hey, kid, tell her. Tell her what. This is his grandson. 
And full air, too. <laughs> You're one with him inside and out. And my spell has brought you back to me. Hey, now, wait a minute. Just a minute. My gold brought me here. That's what brought me here, is gold. That's all, no spell. Your gold. Yeah, my gold. I told you I'm a grandpappy's heir. It's full through air. I accept you. Hey, what happened? What, what, what happened to my gold? Not yours. Not yet. Not mine? That's my gold. What do you mean? That's my gold? You said I was going to get my gold when I got here, and that's a bargain. I want my gold. Damn it. Give me my gold. And I'm sorry, it just upset me. It upset me to see all that gold, that's all. It went out like that. All right, look, uh, come on. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. Now, look, I'm going to give you some of the gold. I'm going to give you a third part of my gold. Now, kid, you say you didn't want any, right? Okay, I'll give you a half. I'll give you half the gold. What do you say, half? All right? I only want what you swore to me. One year in my arms. Yeah, now, look, lady, I can't. I mean, look, I got, I got a business down there, you know what I mean? I can't spend a year of the people dying all the time. Yandro, all that gold besides. Yeah, well, it's a lot of gold. <laughs> That'd be real, real pretty, isn't it? It's a deal. But I get the gold. Wait for me. I see you, kid. Hawk Mountain. You've heard of it. I know the song. It's not written in the maps, in the atlases. I may not tell you where it is. You'll have to seek it for yourself. After I find it? <sighs> ugly bird will find you, or you'll find ugly bird. And if you live, you know the truth of your silver. Go, John. Go. Get on away. 
Heart Mountain was a town where peace and joy abound. Folks was friends and raised up hogs, sparked their girls and was good to dogs. I better get on my get away, yeah, yeah, I got to get on the way. They settled down as man and wife to raise their kids and to live their life. Well, the folks live good for men and long yeah, till they lost their joy to gloom and fear. I better get on my get away, yeah, yeah, I got to get on away. Get on my get away, hey, yeah, I got to get on away, for to that pleasant hill there come. Not us for sure. Honor Hound. Okay, boy? Honor hand? Okay? Oh, that's a good boy. Good boy. Well, nothing, nothing broke. Nothing even bent. You're just a bit shook up, huh? Yeah. Well, unshake yourself, boy. We still got to find Hark Mountain. Remember what Polly said. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. Yeah, it's a good boy. Yeah. Uh. Let's see how I can tote you out of here. We'll be out in a shake, boy. Come on. You sure got your instincts, boy. Come on, let's go. Come on. Well, leastways, we'll be out of here, boy. Come on. You ain't scared of ugly bird, are you? You got no cause to be ashamed, boy. You never swore you'd defy. Go on home, boy. Go home, boy. Go on home, boy. You stayed as long as nature would allow. Go home. Go on. Go on.
Nothing. Nothing ever can to me. You didn't see nothing, you hear? Uh, yes, sir. I need meat, didn't you hear me yelling? Well, uh, I, I was down uh, cellarway, Mr. Owenslim, uh, searching the brine barrel for you. I ain't got a mite of meat. What do you call him? Oh, Mr. Owenslim, he ain't big enough. Uh, come spring come now. Come spring? But... You won't be here come spring? I need your place from a strip mine. My, my, my pal? Yes, got coal under it, ain't they? But, but I pray you, sir, I'll... Go stop in and go slaughter him. Sam, they do what you tell them to do. Who are you? My name's John. Mr. O.J. Anselm. Now, you get off in my mountain. Don't nobody ever say him nay? It happened. Jim Hobe refused him a chicken. And Mr. Owen Schlem pounded his finger out like so. Jim's a powerful big man, but he just stood there like a stump till his missus had that chicken dressed and roasted brown and Mr. Owen Ohm Schlem Ed it up. And old Miss Tilly Palmer, she said no to having her patch strip minded for coal. Miss Tilly Palmer's a cold statue in hardpan where her patch used to be. And the ugly bird won't let her soul go free to heaven nor to hell. This mountain's a scare to being like her. How did Mr. O.J. Anselm hurt his arm? Oh, I don't know. Has any man ever seen him and the Ugly Bird together at one time? Well, uh, uh, time on time and time again, if, if that's what you're thinking. It ain't like the werewolves down Louisiana way. It's beyond human understanding, John. There's a fellow named Chas. Keep still back where my home used to be. He once went to Nashville, Tennessee when he was a young buck. I was to Frankfort, Kentucky twice. That's a peep house, and the place that raises up from the grave the spirits of the dead and gone. The medium, as they call the witch, gives body to the formless spirits out of her own self. And them bodies come and go as free as any living things. But if you hit one, the witch yells out in pain. And if you hurt it bad, they both dies. I'm so glad I never went to Nashville, Tennessee. Well, you got the damned ugly bird in O.J. Anselm right here. Maybe you best get from this, Mountie. I didn't come to hide from fear. Stop, Mr. Rabbit, get down! Now's the time to say him nay. You dare favor this thief over me? Get him, old! Now's your chance, Mr. Now. <laughs> You still going deep by? I defy. Oh, my soul! Ugly bird! Oh, my dear God!
What happens now? Well, I could use a roof and bed. What you going to do with us? Battling the ugly bird up on Hark Mountain, but I come away with my true silver strings. Well, then, hop in. Come on. I got to get my bed on. myself a deal on it. Look to you like a good place to camp. Abigail? You know, they make machines pretty smart nowadays. That's why you went to Hawk Mountain Trail. To win the thanks of the folks. No, but they did get the benefit. And they weren't even mad with you? Mad at me? I mean, they didn't try to drive you out or anything? No. It was more like there was a fear to me. Ooh. Ooh. A being gets cold at this time of life. I... Why did they fear me? Nature. You know, John, people cling to the evil that they know, fearing that what's to come might be even worse. Even when they can see with their own eyes that it's good? Yep. That's why they cannot abide their defiers and bringers of new times until they are safely underground. Makes defying hardly seem worthwhile. My guitar's gone, and I never was much for bullets, common or silver. Well, reason enough to stop looking for the bad, settle down in peace with your neighbor. Don't see much else to do. <clears throat> no, sir. By God, if silver bullets is what it's got to be, silver bullets is what I got to mold them to. <laughs> well, I guess I did sound like the loudest repenter at the mourner's bench. Could be I'd, I'd backslide just as quick as him. But you don't like having your mind made up for you. At least not because the ugly bird's hide was tougher than my music box. Well, we'll just see what we can do to put things back in your own hands again. Hmm? Thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah, hold that. Now, you better get those silver strings on that before this ESOS too boils dry. So, something wrong? This is where our paths must part for a while. My road is the right fork. Thanks for supper. Yours was the first salt, John. you get here? Followed him. Well. You don't mind me walking alongside? No, I like looking at you. Come on down to my hometown. People on the level won't run you round. People on the bayou never try to buy you. You got to come on around to my hometown. People on the level won't run you round. A, B, C, one, two, three. I'm as happy as I can be. A, B, C, one, two, three. I'm as happy as I can be. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody knows how the story goes. You got to come on around to my hometown. People on the level won't run you round. Do 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 A B C one two three. I'm as happy as I can be. A B C one two three. I'm as happy as I can be. We got the cool school teacher, got the crew room preacher, got the X-rated double feature at the drive-in show. You 
got to come on around to my hometown. People on the level won't run you round. Come on around to my hometown. People on the level won't run you round. Where'd you get the bucket? I borrowed it. Mm-hmm, sure. No, I mean to return it. <clears throat> oh, King Nebuchadnezzar. John. That's a jawful. There's a pretty, pretty little house down there. These folks just moved away. They was regretful, too. Flowers abloom and kitchen garden rich in fruit and all the gear we'll need for a long time. Would you anyway come look at it? Tomatoes is busting with sweetness. What are you thinking of? Remembering. to our first time? I ain't got that far back yet. Open up. Tomatoes out of our own patch. And a pretty girl to stuff them down my throat whether I want them or not, huh? Does that mean that you do not? Sing me a loved one. You're a new day in my life. A new way to my world You're a new dream Best I've ever seen And I always wanted you to be my girl Listen to the morning glory Trying to sing its story To you, lad You're a new dream, best I've ever seen, and I always wanted you to be my girl. Mm -hmm. 
You're a new dream, best I've ever seen. And I always wanted you to be my girl. What happened? They're telling me. Telling what? What what true silver's meant to do. Not right away. Not right away. Lily? I ain't lonesome for anything I ain't got. It's different. What now? A, B, C, one, two, three. I'm as happy as I can be. This ain't no place for a happy song a, like that. B, C, one. Or any other cheerfulness. Not yet. Jumbo Sucker Athene. How did you, brother? Gino Longo Ni. Uncle Ananasi. Mine's John. How did you know what he meant? Like he know Bable Cuso. The people was asleep. And the slavers come in the night. Do we still have your god and spears? The day is coming when he won't. Samuel, 62 pounds. Manly Wade, 65 pounds. No friend, leave it be. It's a lie. This is your last chance. Now, a good old boy like you don't want to face Captain LaJoy H. Desplay in the fort now, do you? That's who I want to face. <laughs>
Not that you are a mountain and I am Mohammed. Here. You are a stubborn old spider. Trust me. You and I are of the same Homemade Greek To voodoo Captain LaJoy, H. Desplaine the Ford. Oh, Uncle Ananasi. You will be much worse than dead. We awake from our dark night. Defiant. And Defiant is a lonely and solitary work and ever was. Mr. Marduk. Marduk, more properly. Marduk? Like Marduk Beale in the scriptures? Oh, that was a mix up. I was long gone from Babylon by then. I want to go home. Well, just hop on Asmodeus back. Uh, we'll have you there before you know you've gone. What'll happen to John? Oh, his feet will find their way as he walks to and fro upon the earth. It's been raining in the mountains and the rivers on the rise. And we cannot hardly reach the other side And the devil, he's in trouble And I can't see it in his eyes If you don't give him shelter He'll have no place to hide If you don't give him shelter He'll have no place to hide Travels in a hearse. The tree 
treat you like a dog now, baby, he like to treat you worse. But he don't have the answer to love, and if he did, he lied. Well, the devil is a joker, and he don't want you to lie. The devil is a joker, by God, I'm 